Hi, my name is Heng Tuan Chun from CloudWatt. Today I will present the new scheduling mechanism that we developed at CloudWatt. Uh, it's policy by scheduling. I will present the motivation why we do it, the current open stack mechanism, and our proposal illustrated by the use case and our vision on the future. First, on the motivation, as a cloud public provider, CloudWatt wants a new um, scheduling mechanism that will have guarantee the contract of the clients, provide him with transparency, with a better experience, more service, more offer, with attractive price. And it has to provide the administrator with the flexibility. Flexibility in scheduling per client, per resource, per the context. And it has to provide him with the capability of realizing different objectives in different situations. And also, it should provide also the simplified yet efficient way to control and manage in the, the system. So uh, with the mass placement engine should have consideration on the regulation, plan contract, cloud provider operation, the environmental and infrastructure and for. With that in mind, we first, naturally we first look at the open stack mechanism, which is filter, filter scheduler. If we look at Swinter Schiedler in Sinova, what it is? It's a two-step provisioning mechanism. First, it will filter out all the hosts that are not capable of private, uh, providing uh, the request. Secondly, it will order the remaining host based on some criteria. The remaining uh, RAM in this case, and select the best host that is suitable. This mechanism is flexible and works. However, the problem is, is that it's static. Once you put all the filter, wire parameters into Nova config, you cannot change it on the fly. You cannot modify uh, the filter for one client or for one cluster of a host, etc. So it's difficult to answer to different objectives in different situations. And it doesn't have any consideration on the client context. You cannot provision the resource based on some uh, service, uh, on some class of user, for example. And you cannot provide admin with fine grained scheduling. For example, you cannot ask Nova to put a global apply load, load balancing policy in the whole infrastructure and consolidation policy in one of the aggregate only. It is impossible for Nova scheduler currently. So we need to develop a new mechanism. In uh, our solution is policy by scheduling mechanism. For in first step, we will provide a new solution for Nova-centric architecture uh, so that we don't need to modify anything. But later, I will present our vision on the meta scheduling uh, in the future. The idea of policy-based scheduling mechanism is to separate the scheduling logic, how you want to provision the resource, and the execution domain, in which era, in which scope. So the scheduling logic is represented as rule, target, effect, condition. Basically, it's like under this condition, apply this effect to this target. The effect can be load balancing, consolidation over subquestion. Target can be one aggregate, one availability zone, one class of users. The rules are stored in the repository. And our policy by scheduling engine, you consume the rules and apply it to the request of the client for certain host. Finally, for the backward contability, we reduce the filter and wire in Nova so that at the very least, if you don't put any rule in it, it will function exactly as the filter scheduler. So you don't need to worry about the transition between filter scheduler and our engine. For example, here we have three rules. The first, first rule saying that this client, Frank, benefits from the service class goal, meaning that all of his vital machine will be hosted in the goal era where all the high quality equipment will be used. The second rule saying that I want to apply load balancing in the whole infrastructure. And the third rule saying that I want to apply consolidation in one aggregate only. So how does it work? Here we have the load uh, balancing as the global rules and consolidation as the local rule for one of the aggregate. The principle is that the local rule could rent over the global rule. So inside the aggregate, the workload will be regrouped in minimum of the host, and outside of the aggregate, the workload will be distributed equally between the host. Now I will illustrate by some use case. The first use case is to enhancing the regulation constraint. 
let's say that now a French com uh, medical company wants to deploy his uh, virtual machine in France only to respect the French authority. Here I have four server in two zone, the France zone and the Japan zone, the blue one and the red one. If I log in as this company and launch an instance, well, let's say that I would run three instances. I select the image. Without selecting any availability zone, I launch it. The system will detect the automatically the context of this client and deploy the virtual machine inside the French zone, meaning that inside this blue one. Yeah. Now, if one of the user of this company select a wrong zone, let's say he select Japan instead of France, wrong zone, using the same image, launch it. The system will write an error code saying that you cannot create the uh, outside of the availability zone. And of course, we only have three, server, uh, three vital machines running. OK, so that's the first uh, demo on the first user. The second uh, demo is on another user that we call Gone Client. This client benefits from the uh, Gone Service class. Basically, here I will change the color. The Gone Service class contract saying that his virtual machine could be deployed in the zone era where all high quality equipment are used. So you may say a thing that is okay, it's easy. In Finter Studio, what can you do? You can do it to create a new flavor, associate with the, the Gone era, and then let the user select this zone, uh, this uh, flavor. The problem is that if the users change the contract, so he has to modify all of his applications to select another flavor to use uh, to benefit from his contract. It's not good. What we're trying to do is to provide him with the transparency, meaning that here he doesn't, do any, he doesn't need to do anything special. He selects, uh, I will create the French goal. He selects the same flavor as the previous client. It's three, the same image and launch it. Here I have the room for this client saying that this client benefits from the service class goal, whereas the previous client has the constraint of availability zone in France. So if I go back to the portal, we see that all these three vital machines are deployed in the goal era. So we have two clients who do exactly the same step but result in two different placements. These, uh, these two use cases showing the difference between the context, context of the client. The client, doesn't know anything, uh, the client doesn't know anything about what happened inside the cloud, but our system could take care of it, considering its uh, context, its contract, and regulation constraint. Now I will present another demo on the Azure Keep or the admin. Firstly, I will delete all of this vital machine. OK. Delete them. Now I want to return to the history between the load balancing and consideration politics. Let's say that a service provider signed a contract with the uh, software vendor which charge, which charge uh, the license fee based on the number of hardware on which the image is deployed. So if four clients deploy four vital machines using this image here, the image we call property soft, what he trying to actually to achieve is to have all of these vital machine deployed in one server only, so that you want, can pay one time for four vital machines instead of uh, four times for four vital machines. 
So basically, it's consolidation for this image and load balancing elsewhere for everywhere else. So let's do it. The first step I will do is to reserve and aggregate the blue error here for this image and make it consolidated. So the first step is to add a new rule. Yeah. Got. Okay, copy rules, put it here. Submit update. The rule is very simple. I will call a new filter. The filter itself exists already in the ice house. So uh, it's not uh, nothing, uh, it's nothing new. The, the thing is, you can, now you can call it on the fly without restarting the system. The second step, I will make this aggregate here consolidated. Now the rule says that I want to apply consolidation in this aggregate. Whereas you know, we have load balancing everywhere else. So now, if I launch this image, well, launch. Okay, they will be deployed inside the blue error in one of the hosts only. So that is consolidation. Of course, if the user continues to create a new vital machine with the image, it will consume the whole resource of the first uh, server and would use another server, etc. Now, outside of this zone is still load balancing. So if the user launch other image, Ubuntu, for example, Ubuntu 4. This vital machine could be deployed in the zone goal, in the uh, goal zone, with a load balancing policy. I Meaning that will be distributed equally between the two remaining hosts. So that is uh, the possibility of separating different policy from the uh, different era of the inside your cloud. Uh, inside your cloud. Okay, here they are. Back to my presentation. We already proposed this mechanism inside in Nova uh, Launchpad uh, to have an uh, engine working, with Nova in, uh, working inside Nova Studio. But our vision is not limited in Nova, but to have an engine common for Nova, Cinder, and Neutron at the same time. And we would like to have a new service, service manager to control and manage the infrastructure and ensure the life cycle of the vital machine of the clients. For example, it can initiate the migration for the vital machine or uh, recycle the aggregate if needed. And finally, we imagine that this policy management system that can control and manage the policy. So that is not me who will write down the rules, but the system will translate the contract and the objective of that mean into the rule itself. Our effort aligns very well with the effect, uh, with the effort in the uh, Nova workgroup, especially in the GAN project. Basically, GAN project will create a new service based on CDLink, based on Nova CDLR. That will be here. So we, will ho we hope to be able to merge this engine into the GAN, into GAN project. Thanks for your attention. And if you want to know more about this, you can find out policy by CDLR on Launchpad. Thank you for that.